Welcome back to the Relaxing Ghost Channel here on YouTube. Today we got Raw Homecoming DVD review. Gonna try to do my best to give you guys a complete review of this DVD, even though it's still sealed. This is one of the rarest and most expensive DVDs you can find. Thankfully, I found it for 80 bucks the past week or two. Um, came in the mail, and here we have it. Live and in living color. So I'm never probably going to open this, but it's, a, it's a certainly a, a treasure I'd like to share with everyone. So this was uh, WWE's kind of return to... USA Network after being on Spike for a few years with Monday Night Raw and then they were on uh, TNN for a few years WWE I don't I'm not sure when exactly they left uh, USA must have been around 2000 2001 after ECW left TNN so I thought they were always pretty good on Spike, or uh, TNN, and then they dubbed it the new TNN uh, through 2003, 2004. Those were some of the peak years of uh, the Ruthless Aggression era. Really good times. So, I'll run down the match card in a minute, what's actually on this disc. But this was a Walmart exclusive, and it came free with uh, WrestleMania 20. This was released in 2006 as a Walmart exclusive, like I said. So we have Free Raw Homecoming, DVD attached. Of course, we all know WrestleMania 20, one of the best DVDs of all time. It actually wasn't the best DVD of 2004 in terms of sales. That would go to uh, the rise and fall of ECW. With about, uh, not many more, but they had about 4,000 more units than uh, WrestleMania in the in the quarter it was released. So, we have our spines. So, here's the uh, UPC code. Monday Night Raw Homecoming, World Wrestling Entertainment. So on the cover there, I actually really like that cover. I love the, you know, the colors, the green and the yellow, the oranges, reds. We got Austin, Hogan, Foley, Mr. McMahon, Trish, John Cena, and Triple H. This was Monday, October 3rd, 2005 at 8 p.m. Eastern. This was in Dallas, Texas. I know you can't see it there, but pretty cool spine. Decent enough. And this was before the time... Where they were putting the uh, WWE on the spines as well. Although it's on that side. They they altered their spine at some point, the, the number there. So what's on this? This was a two hour special, I believe. From Dallas. And this was big at the time. Like I said, they were on TNN for a while, a few years. And then going back to uh, USA Network was huge. They got really big money, and they've been there ever since the past, you know, going on 15 years, which is weird, because uh, come October, that'll be, what, the day I think AEW debuts, October 2nd or 3rd. So, the show opens up. This show is available on... The Raw 20th Anniversary set, I have it here. Just kind of give you a breakdown of all the matches and things like that. So go to disc 7. Got Shawn Michaels and Kurt Angle there. This was like kind of a, a, a show with a lot of legends, a lot of hype around it. So we got Piper's Pit with special guest Mick Foley. 30 minute Iron Man match between Kurt Angle and Shawn Michaels. Stone Cold Steve Austin and the McMahons. This is where he stuns Vince, Shane, Stephanie, and Linda, I believe. 
if I'm wrong about that, please, uh, please comment down below. I think this is a show, unless that was Raw 15th, which is also on here. Hmm. So then we have a Loser Leaves Raw Money in the Bank ladder match between Edge and Matt Hardy. This was, you know, the aftermath of the Edge, Lita, Matt Hardy, Love Triangle. Um, they'd had their few matches on, on Raw, pay-per-views, and now it was all coming to an end here. Matt Hardy would lose and would go to uh, SmackDown. Edge retained his Money in the Bank. Good match overall. We had Carlito and Chris Masters versus Triple H and Ric Flair, honoring WWE legends. A three-on-two handicap bra and panties match. Wow. Tori Wilson, Candice Michelle, and Victoria versus Trish Stratus and Ashley. We also had a SmackDown match, which uh, this is where it starts getting edited out due to Benoit. Rey Mysterio, Chris Benoit, and Batista versus JBL Christian and Eddie Guerrero. So Benoit's entrance is uh, edited down. And I think when the commentators are talking about Benoit or mention his name, they also, you know, mute the, the audio. We got a Mean Gene Okerlund interview with Hulk Hogan and a no-DQ match for the WWE title, John Cena versus Eric Bischoff. Not the way I would have wanted a this episode of Raw to end, but John Cena and Eric Bischoff overall probably could have been much different. You know, they were building to Edge, which he would cash in a few months later. October of 2005, this was right after, I, I believe, Unforgiven. Yeah, September of 2005. So this was building towards Eric Bischoff's departure of WWE. I would have liked to see Undertaker on this show. He would return at Survivor Series in 2005. It's kind of weird he wasn't here, but he was a SmackDown superstar anyway. But they did have that one SmackDown match. Overall, if you're lucky to find this, don't overpay for it. Usually around $80 to $100 just for the DVD alone. I was really lucky to find this sealed. The seller was selling it for 100 bucks. I offered him 80 He accepted my offer. I got really lucky on that call. And, uh, you know, he, he had several other offers. Probably a few people lowballed them, you know, for 40 50 bucks, whatever. He declined their offers. You could see the... Uh, offers and then uh he accepted mine which was great so eighty dollars sealed raw homecoming if you look on ebay you probably won't find it sealed too many times in the combo pack like this which uh we have never really seen a, a copy like this and overall it's if you find it sealed you'll probably end up paying like at least 200 300 4 to 500 for it like this i i'm guessing usually raw homecoming is a dvd that you'd pay about 100 bucks for uh, in in good condition let me know your thoughts on this one guys if you have it in your collection comment down below your thoughts on raw homecoming we'll talk to you later peace